shockingly expensive things found in thrift stores. Number 13. Rare Chinese Bowl. This plain looking bowl was bought for just $3 from a yard sale in the US, but had an amazing turnaround of $2.2 million at an auction house in New York. The bowl is pretty small, at just 5 inches in diameter, but it was worth an amazing fortune. It's actually all the way from the Northern Song Dynasty over 1,000 years ago. Number 12. A Watch. Zach Norris was making a normal trip to his local Goodwill in Phoenix, Arizona, when he found treasure at the bottom of a basket of jewelry. Near the bottom of the pile of watches was a strange old watch called Le Cult Deep Sea Alarm. It was only $5.99, but even in this damaged condition, Norris managed to sell the piece for $35,000. Number 11. Photo of Billy the Kid. Someone found this antique photo in a shop in Fresno for just $2. One of the people in these photos is actually William H. Bonney, an infamous outlaw better known as Billy the Kid. It's actually the second photo ever seen of him, and he is playing croquet. Some describe this photo as the holy grail of American photography because of how rare it is to find pictures of Billy the Kid. The value was set at $5 million. Number 10. Velvet Underground Record. Warren Hill is a man from Montreal who bought this Velvet Underground vinyl from a New York City sidewalk store for just 75 cents. What makes this great find even better is that this is actually the only copy of the demo that was made by the band for Columbia Records back in 1966. Warren Hill posted his find on eBay and got a $25,000 return. Number 9. Chinese Libation Cup. A lucky shopper in a thrift store in Sydney found a strange looking piece of pottery that would wind up earning him a fortune. The shopper found the pot for just four Australian dollars, but later got it appraised and was found to be something called a libation cup from 17th century China. A libation cup was carved from a rhinoceros horn and was used to make an offering to a god or spirit. This cup in particular would eventually be auctioned off for $75,640 Australian dollars, which is around $80,000 US. Number 8. Vertical Diamond. This painting looks pretty sleek, but you wouldn't expect just how much it would be worth unless you were a real art history buff. Beth Feedback was a wandering around a Goodwill looking for some old canvases to paint over. When she researched the name on the back of one of the old paintings she bought, she found this painting was called Vertical Diamond by Ilya Bolotowski. After realizing that the painting was too valuable to paint over, she put it up for auction. The final sale of the painting ended up being around $34,000 US dollars. Number 7. Alexander Calder Necklace. This strange necklace looks like a weird toy necklace that most people probably would have passed up if they walked past it in a store. However, one lucky woman saw the necklace and decided that she loved it and bought it for her own personal collection. Years later, while visiting the Philadelphia Art Museum, she noticed that jewelry made by artist Alexander Calder looked a lot like the weird necklace she picked up in that Goodwill. She put two and two together and decided to put her necklace up for auction. The final bid for this necklace was $267,750. Number 6. A Flemish Painting. An 81 year old man named Leroy was browsing a Goodwill when he noticed an interesting painting out of the corner of his eye. He knew that the frame was from around the 1800s and thought that if the painting was from the same era, it would at least turn him $200. An official appraisal estimated that the painting was worth an incredible $25,000. The painting was actually even older, from around 1650. When the painting went to auction, it blew everyone's estimates out of the water and sold for $190,000. Number 5. Jackson Pollock Painting. Terry Horton is now in her 80s and previously worked as a truck diver before retiring. She's also known for making a few ripples when she found what seems to be a Jackson Pollock original painting in a thrift store for just $8. Terry had no idea what the painting was, and after trying to get rid of it, one day at a garage sale, a passing art teacher informed her it was probably an original Pollock. However, no one in the art world wants to verify this painting, and she struggled for years to get it verified. Appraisals say the painting should be worth around $50 million if it's the original, but the The highest and only offer she's ever gotten is a measly $8 million. To this day, she still owns the painting and is waiting for someone to give her what she calls a fair price. Number 4. Andy Warhol Sketch. This drawing might look like it was made in the back of someone's binder while they are taking notes, but it's actually worth much more than some other kids' drawings. This is actually found in the yard sale in Las Vegas in the summer of 2010 and seems to have been made by none other than Andy Warhol. It's been verified and appraised by several experts and thought to be worth $2 million or more. Number 3. Fabergé Egg. 
Someone found this piece in a thrift store and sold it as scrapped gold for $14,000. That's already an incredible find, but before the scrap dealer melted it, he did some research. This scrap metal was identified as a Fabergé Imperial Egg, one of the 50 that were ever made. A private collector would eventually acquire this piece, and the price it was bought for remains private. But some people estimate that the egg was worth at least over $30 million. Number 2. The Declaration of Independence Michael Sparks had an unbelievable luck with this thrift store find, one that Nicolas Cage could only hope for. Sparks was visiting a thrift store in Nashville when he bought what he thought was a modern reprint of the Declaration of Independence for just $2.48. After he realized that the document might be pretty old, he did some research and realized he had gotten himself one of 200 official copies of the Declaration made in 1820. He would eventually sell this copy for $477,000. Number 1. Stadium Events Nintendo Game You might pass this in a thrift store and think it's just some old, unplayable video game. In actuality, it's one of the rarest video games ever. Stadium Events is a game designed for the NES, but only 200 were ever made before the game was recalled. What some might think is trash, others think is collectible. This game would go on to sell for an amazing $35,100 on eBay. Have you ever found something truly incredible at the thrift store? Tell us down below.